Hello everyone, my name is Gordon. This video, I hope, is going to be part of a series of educational videos about the Richmond Birdwing Butterfly and its host vine, Pararistolochia pravenosa. The outcome of watching this video, well there are a couple. You'll learn uh, how to identify some of the key features and characteristics of the Richmond Birdwing Vine, Pararistolochia pravenosa, and you'll also learn a little about how the butterfly larvae interacts with this vine. I hope it's useful to you. This particular vine, growing in our suburban garden in Brisbane, comes out of the ground just here and runs across and up onto a tuckaroo and has extended out and across to a second tree, a lily pilly. As you can see, the vine works its way counterclockwise counter up the tree. Okay, as I said, it's known as Pararistolochia pravenosa, or the Richmond birdwing vine. Here are some new shoots, uh, new leaves that the larvae would be particularly interested in consuming. The larvae prefer the soft, younger shoots. The vines actually has a status rare, which means that it is uncommon or threatened. It has a highland cousin that lives in areas above 600 metres above sea level. The vine's very long living and it actually can get quite big. So, th so this one extends about four metres up into the tree and these vines can actually live to 100 years or more. So they need a, a robust and non-deciduous host. Lily pillies are an ideal host tree. They flower from September to December and they're pollinated by, it's believed, by a midge. They have a, they have a two to four centimeter seed capsule and they're, uh, they're quite fragile early on. Once they get past about three years, they become quite tough. Okay, now for some important facts about the actual larvae. The larvae is a fairly greedy little fella and they will actually consume one to two square meters of these leaves so your vine needs to be quite a mature and healthy vine to successfully sustain the larvae the only other thing that the larvae eats is his neighbor they're cannibals they're not interested in your rose bush or your lime tree or any other plant in your garden other than the Richmond birdwing vine. The only exception is the exotic introduced Dutchman's pipe. The Dutchman's pipe fools the mother, the female butterfly, and the eggs when they hatch start to eat the exotic Dutchman's pipe vine and it poisons them. So one of the key elements of bringing the butterfly back to our streets and suburbs is to make sure that we try to get rid of this exotic vine. Thanks for watching. I hope the video has been useful and I hope that it's given you some ability to identify some of the key features of the Richmond Birdwing vine and how the larvae interacts with the vine. See you next time.